Now the other piece of news today that has come across my desk and drawn my attention is actually talk about semiconductors. Now China and semiconductors have had a very interesting relationship. They have mostly been pretty dependent on Western semiconductor companies like Intel and the like, who have been really providing most of those services for them. They want to, China wants to reduce their Western semiconductor dependence and become a self-reliant technology firm is the goal in, at the end of the day. Now, right now, they have started outlining what they're looking at. And so far, you can't get an exact answer, but from looking at some of the reports we're hearing from officials and a variety of other places of information from think tanks, we're able to summarize that they're looking at something along the lines of a five-year roadmap in which they aim to push into the next generation of semiconductors. So the idea being that now they kind of just go, all right, well, we'll just put up with what we've got. And this means that they're gonna put up with that, making the current gen, using it in all of their products over the next five years, whilst they can actually groom and grow some very good semiconductor companies directly out of China. This means that they remove the reliance on Western semiconductors, but also means when it comes to the next generation, they may be able to become the dominant force. Now, a lot of this is actually all kicked off because we've seen a lot of blacklisting behavior coming from the Joe Biden administration, where he is restricting and, and making it difficult for China to either access semiconductor markets or even sell some of the semiconductors that they have. So they're aiming to try and become the next power instead. If you can't beat them, make a better opportunity for it instead. Now, in this instance, the Western share market would theoretically decline because we would have another alternative avenue of getting semiconductors. And in some instances across Australasia and of course anywhere across the Asia Pacific, we may find that it's easier to get semiconductors from China than what it is from the US just because of shipping time zones. So keep an eye on some of those things in the future. Naturally, this is not something to be taking a trade on today, but we've already started seeing Chinese semiconductors improve. Now, what we've seen he got on this chart here is a variety of China's largest chip manufacturers uh, really climbing in anticipation of this new move towards pushing towards semiconductors as a domestic front, and then eventually moving it to offshore relations as well. So of some of the companies that we've got on the screen here, they have all been pushing up. There is a variety of them. These are just happen to be the top four or five. Feel free to check out this chart if you would like to. And of course, keep an eye on semiconductors. They are an important area of the market at this point in time and likely to be so for an extensive period of time. Now, if you have any concerns or would like to get in contact with me about your trading today, feel free to send me a message at any of my social media channels. And of course, don't forget to check your economic calendars and don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get more great videos from me and ACY Securities in the future. Have a great trading day ahead.